right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. And we got the Doobie Brothers in the building. My first experience with them, you get to witness it. They're an American rock band from San Jose, California, known for their flexibility and performing across multiple genres and their vocal harmonies. Uh, active for five decades with their greatest success in the 70s. The group's current lineup consists of founding members, members, English is not present clearly, Tom Johnston, Patrick Simmons, Michael McDonald, and John McPhee. If any other members uh, across the board are no longer with us, uh, rest in peace to them. My condolences, prayers go out to their family. Today we got Jesus is Just All Right. It's a gospel song originally written by Art Reynolds and first recorded by his group, the Art Reynolds Singers, on their 1966 album, Telling It Like It Is. This song's been covered by a ton of different bands, including the Doobie Brothers, so we're going to check out their version today. Let me know any information I got incorrect or you deem appropriate for me to know down in the comments. Subscribe, like, notification bell if you're new. All my other links are in the description if you want to check those out, support the channel, all that. I appreciate you being here. Set the rant over here. Let's get it poppin'. Control it, y'all. I gotta move and groove. Jesus, well, he's my friend. Mine too. But Jesus, well, he's my friend. Mm, the best stuff, the life. came in like
feel like I'm on Guitar Hero. Jesus will get you right, though, I promise you. Oh, they done carried it, dropped it off, left us stranded in the abyss. That's okay. Jesus will pick us up. The Messiah will get you right. I promise. And Jesus, he's so much more than all right with me. And they know that too. I know it was part of the song. It was clever how they wrote the lyrics. That was beautiful. That is gospel. And well, they didn't write the lyrics. The uh, uh, the guy I told you at the beginning wrote the lyrics, but yo, I got to take it to scripture real quick. I got to find a verse that's just real fitting for this one right here. And I think, let's see, Colossians 4 verse 5 and 6 is the ESV version. Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. So people are going to talk. But you don't have to care what they say, but it's your job as a Christian follower, as a uh, as a person of God, you know what I'm saying, to, to share the word graciously, seasoned with salt, with wisdom, so you can inform those on, on the facts, for, inform those on the love and the, the complete grace eternally that God and Jesus Christ bring to the, to the table. My man Gregory Kokel, the author of Tactics, said it best. He said, I don't think you need to swing for the fences. I don't think you even need to worry about getting on base. I just want you to get into the batter's box and our tactical game plan will put you there. Then watch what God will do. So you got to at least get into those conversations. People are going to disagree with you. In Matthew 10 verses 16 through 19, Jesus said, behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you over to the courts and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be put, you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, that's Jesus, to bear witness before them and the Gentiles. When they deliver you over, do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you in that hour. So even though there is real warfare going on, I think our engagement should be more like diplomacy other than D-Day. That's also from Greg Kokel as well. Um, so you should be gracious in your approach. Don't try to battle. You're not going to argue anybody into Christianity. You got to present it with love, but don't be, don't just, just love. You have to present it in a way to where it's seasoned with salt, delivered with fact, and, and the Lord will bless you with that. As long as you're studying your Bible day in and day out, applying yourself, when you fall off, you get back on the wagon at some point, Jesus is going to get you right. And he's more than just all right. He's the ultimate savior, the ultimate act of selflessness and complete humble soul. He took on, our, while the world was still evil, Jesus took on our sins. He felt that, that bad for us, that that uh, gracious to us and we didn't know any better. So Jesus said, you know what? I got y'all. If you look to me, if you turn to me, all those that turn to me will be eternally forgiven, eternally have life in heaven. And I know that's not directly quoted from scripture, but you get the premise. Turn to Jesus. He's more than just all right. You need a savior. We're all sinners. We all, we all fall short of that grace, but that's why Jesus was sent. And if you turn to him, you will have life. Those that turn to him, all your loved ones that are up in heaven, if you turn to Jesus and they, hopefully they turn to Jesus as well, because if they didn't, then they not, they're they just not going to be up there. I just got to put it blunt to you. If they turn to Jesus and accepted him as their Lord and Savior, and you have as well, you'll spend eternity with them in heaven. I promise you, but I'm it speaks for itself, man. Y'all dive into this Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. Listen to some good old Doobie Brothers, some gospel songs. I don't care who your favorite gospel artist is, as long as they're preaching the truth and, and that Jesus is the way, the truth, the life, not a progressive Christianity, Christianity that is all Bible. Everything in there you should take completely literal, not just half of it, not just a quarter of it. All of the Bible should be taken literally and applied seriously, how God says in the Ten Commandments. We will fall short, but that's when you got to repent, ask for forgiveness, and continue to believe. I'm rooting for y'all. I love y'all. What other Doobie Brothers songs do we need to check out? Gibbs, relax. I'm, I'm sharing the good news. Subscribe, like, notification bell if you're new. If you want to support the channel, all my links are down below. You can join the Patreon family. You can always buy me a coffee, or you can donate on PayPal. By no means do you have to. It's just an extra way of showing support to Mrs. Gibson and I. We appreciate it, and we love y'all. Regardless, I'm going to keep on praying for you. Keep being good to each other. Godspeed. I'm gone.
If you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you watching first and foremost. And by now, I'm sure if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen my trading video, you see what I do outside of YouTube videos, because you know YouTube doesn't cut the check like that. So I've been trading for the past six years, a little bit over six years now. So if you're interested in what I do, you want to learn a new skill set, work is hard, or everything is all good, beautiful, and, and blessings your way, it, it's, it's all good. I'm glad for you, but you need to learn a skill set that allows your money to work for you. So check the pinned comment down below, check out that video, and uh, we can continue to move on forward. If not, man, just keep on watching my videos, keep on putting good out into the world and trying to get better every single day. I love y'all, man. If you need to get a hold of me, email dgibbyfit at gmail.com. That's the best way to get in contact, whether it's in regards to trading, my YouTube, you just need some help along life, you need a piece of motivation, a swift kick in the butt, I'm here to help, man. So I appreciate y'all. I'm gone.